Boarded windows, empty streets, and homes evacuated on the coast. Good evening. I'm Shayla Reeves. And I'm Ken Watling. It's what you'll find throughout Carteret County tonight. That's because a mandatory evacuation is currently underway. WNCT's Brandon Truitt is the only local reporter in Moorhead City tonight. He's live along the waterfront. And Brandon, how's it looking there? Ken and Shayla, all is quiet tonight. This popular coastal town shut down as emergency management crews make last minute efforts to get people out. This is still going to be a historic storm. Last minute preparations. Everybody needs to be vigilant. Paired with last minute pleas. This is uh, not something to be messed with. The message from Carteret County leaders. You need to stay out of harm's way and, and the safety of everybody is most concerned. Stores boarded up, shopping plazas sitting empty. In Atlantic Beach, hurricane flags flying. People taking in last minute walks on the beach before the storm. So we're taking it very, very seriously. Richard Porter owns the Tackle Box Tavern. It's a staple along Atlantic Beach. Uh, this is probably uh, the most catastrophic uh, natural event that North Carolina has seen since. You know, uh, Hazel came through in 54. His bar, the only building on the beach still standing after Hazel. For Florence, they're not taking chances. I encourage everyone uh, who's under the mandatory evacuation to get out and leave. Here in Pine Knoll Shores, you'll find a familiar scene of just abandoned roads. People taking advantage of the time they had to prepare, going ahead and boarding up their homes here and getting out of town. And in Moorhead City, streets usually packed with visitors eating and shopping, empty, the way officials want them to be. The folks just need to understand that should they decide to shelter here, our emergency responders will not be able to respond until it's safe for them to do so. The bridge into Atlantic Beach closing tomorrow at 7 a.m. That's when a countywide uh, curfew is going into effect. Those who break it could face citations. Also worth noting here, Carteret County opening an additional shelter, a second shelter up in Newport at Newport Middle School. Live in Moorhead City, Brandon Truitt, not on your side. Brandon, thank you.